Welcome back. Just wanted to show you something which I thought was kind of funny. Like you'll see, uh, I I'm just unlocking cards right now with the pack instant instinct deck, and uh, not too far in, I I'm playing um, the pyromancer. Or yeah, I think the pyromancer. Uh, um, what's it called? Encounter. And uh, it has four cards in hand. You better believe those are all prodigal uh, pyromancers. And <laughs> it, it seems like uh, the same with the Suntail Hawk encounter. At some point, when you stack your side so much, uh, the, the, the AI just lose the will to live or lose the will to, to resist. And I wanted to see how far I could go. I'm not going to show everything. I, I just want to sh see how much damage I can do in one turn and uh, how how far I can uh, push the AI before it starts spitting out all of its um, its um, uh, prodigal pyromancers. I'm thinking since it has uh, 12 lands down, it might empty its hand in the next turn, but I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. I don't want to kill it yet, though. Um, anyways, just uh, let's let's take a look here. Um, I'm not showing this to to show off or anything. There's nothing impressing, uh, impressive about intimidating an AI. There's nothing impressive about uh, winning against the AI, and certainly not when you have the the primordial Hydra down, which just gets bigger and bigger. Like it's a 4,096 slash 4,096 power and toughness creature right now. There's not much uh, that's gonna help you against that. So yeah. And I have that stupid biorhythm card in hand as well. Um, so, um, and I have a lot of cards in my in in my pile because I tend to when I unlock the cards. I like I've said many times. I I tend to play against the uh, uh, the computer. I just go against the campaign because I get to test out the deck in different situations. There are a lot of different kinds of um, well, you, you you can you can decide which kinds of decks you want to test it against, and you can des uh, and and you get to play against these encounters, which are very specific in in theme and in style. So, yeah. Um, also, I, I I don't trim down the deck until I'm up to. Uh, I think uh, until I unlock the first 10 cards and with the promo cards that makes the first 20 cards so then every 10 cards I trim it down just because I I don't want to spend too much time just trimming um, yeah so right now my primordial hydra is huge it's almost 9999 which I think is the cap like I, I don't think your creatures are uh, are able to go any higher than that. So it's kind of like uh, Final Fantasy, uh, <laughs> the Final Fantasy games in that respect. Um, so yeah, right now I, I think I'm coming in for almost uh, eight thousand. I would say, let me see, let me just calculate here. Sixteen. That's okay. So you see, nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine plus. All of this, which is uh, 23, well, 25 actually, plus the 16, which is 41. That's uh, 10,040 points of damage. But I still want to, I just want to to see how far I can go. So you'll see now. Apparently, he decides to drop one creature, and that is because he's his hand is full, basically. So I'll be coming in with a. Uh, with a creature without trampling, just to keep it going. I don't want him to build up anything. I don't want him to take out my brindle boars. Um, and of course, to uh, save himself, he will be uh, blocking the brindle boars every turn. But his head is full now, and there might be a chance that when he hits land drop 15 that he empties his hand entirely. Well, he can't empty his hand. Well, that he, he drops five of them. But uh, maybe not. Um, when I played against the Suntail Hawk encounter, I, I tried something along the same lines, and it 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 just emptied its ha its hands um, in. Well, as soon as it hit land drop seven, it just dropped down all of those seven Suntail Hawks, <laughs> which was pretty amazing because it had just warded off. Or I could have killed it like so many times before I came in. Is it? I guess it's the computer's turn. Yeah. So that's one. Anything else? 
seems like it or else it wouldn't be stalling or else uh, the AI has a lot of uh, issues with calculating. I guess not. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Another one. And that'll be that apparently. What is the logic behind this? Well, I'll jump ahead until something, something else happens. Okay, so <laughs> I've uh, I've pretty much been uh, going through the different turns and just stacking my side completely. Um, as you can see, I have way too many cards in hand, and that's because I have two Garrix uh, pack leaders down. Let's see, let me see if I can find them. Here we go. Um, so basically, whenever I I drew a huge creature or a creature with the power of three or more, I got to uh, draw two cards so I could um, make my way through my deck much faster. He has one turn left to, to live before his library is out of uh, cards and uh, I have all of this. Um, don't need the lands. Well, I, I think I'm going to keep the lands still. I, I have the Indrik Stump Howler and I dropped one down. Had to waste an Emerald Medallion for that but I thought <laughs> doesn't make much difference um, all in all. And uh, whatever creature I, uh, I uh, decide to cast next turn, I can give haste with the uh, Lightning Greaves. Um, incremental Growth, whatever. Uh, another thing I can do is I can give creatures plus fly plus five by, um, by spending eight uh, mana, eight colorless. And I have the Primal Bellows. I can kill his creatures and go in there for a huge amount of damage. But he does have some cards in hand. But for some reason, uh, for a while, he, he, he dropped two creatures every turn. Sometimes it was two creatures during the first main phase. Sometimes it was two creatures during the second main phase. Uh, or usually it was at least one creature during the first main phase. And sometimes it would be another creature during the second main phase. And um, I, it tells me that there's some randomness or there's some part of the algorithm which I, not being a mathematician or a computer programmer or engineer in any way, uh, have no idea about how it's working. But fairly interesting either way. Um, so let's see how how it'll all pan out. Um, yeah, let me discard some creatures. Let's just discard this guy because I can only attack with one of them. Let's discard the fog and let's discard biorhythm and a forest. Okay, so I'm I'm assuming he might want to empty his hand now, or <laughs> maybe not. I'm saying he as if it's a person. Well, there you go. So that's one prodigal pyromancer. I'm assuming the second. No, that is so entirely silly. No person would play like that. Okay, so let's get this uh, card down. Let's get this beast down. Pretty sure it's going to be huge as well. It's a 51-51. Seriously. Okay, the Genesis way reveal the... T oh, man. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's just... Uh, let's prey upon this guy. Oh, okay. Me first, you then. Uh, you next. Um, let's, 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 let's equip this guy. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, that's entirely wrong. Here we go, I think. Yeah, that's the one with the summoning sickness. Okay, I have, uh, do I want, let me see, that's do do do. that's two. No, let's not use incremental growth. Well, that is six points of damage more, whereas, um, where do we have it here? That's five points of damage more. Okay, so I guess for one extra damage, <laughs> I know I'm really, I'm really, um, doing, like, I, it, it's really mi a minuscule uh, difference here. 
have a billion of these apparently okay so it's the last turn he has no uh, no uh, defenses whatsoever and i will be swinging in well just to make that uh, calculation a little bit easier let's give the dungrove elder uh, a boost here i have uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that i have 25 lands Okay, so let's calculate here. Um, where are my where are my here? That's my Timbermore lava. It will come in for twenty-seven. All of them will come in for twenty-seven, and that is uh, eighty-one points of damage by just those alone. So eighty-one. That's uh, eighty-eight. That's uh, ninety-three. That is. Uh, 94. That is 144. Uh, that is one. Let me see. Uh, man, my head is exploding. 151. These two, 153. And I had 23 times two. That is 46. Uh, 153 plus 46 is 199. 204. 210, 261, two of these guys, uh, what's that, sorry, 61, that's 276, um, let's just skip this for a second, uh, 275, 283, I already counted these, uh, and 291, 295, that is uh, 303, that is 353, these two guys, 357, 362, plus this guy, so that's 10,351 uh, points of damage. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if it uh, if the game registers all that. I know this is an exercise in uh, futility or the, uh, the silliness, pretty much. But oh, did I calculate this one? So maybe it's one hundred uh, one uh, ten thousand three hundred and fifty, maybe altogether. Here we go. Um. So basically, I just wanted to see how high you could come and how much uh, the the game registers. Yeah, I won surprisingly. Uh, yes, fine. Let's go. Let's go back and check out um, deck manager player status. Uh, One thousand uh, ten thousand three hundred sixty-five uh, most damage done in a turn, and highest power of a creature controlled. So yeah, um, guess that's pretty neat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you watched this silly video, I guess I had nothing else to do. So um, I just wanted to show you guys something while I unlock cards. Um, yeah, so again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a, in a video that's probably <laughs> a little bit more pertinent or interesting. Laters.